On the wall, there's a frame certificate titled Masters of Bins. On the wall, there's a frame certificate titled Masters of Business. God damn it. I work the passing gas. <laughs> passing gas. <laughs> I'd be happy to try. What do you need? I need someone with an entrepreneurial spirit to take the lead on forming a student. Mr. Underwood. Mr. Underwood downs the rest of his. <laughs> Fuck his sakes. Mr. Underwood downs the rest of his drink and glances at the clock on the wall. I linger at my open lock in the hallway. Mr. Underwood's card in one hand, my phone in the other. Turner Underwood. What's this? Turner Underwood. Assistant Principal. Was I about to ask him? Hmm. Did I get paid this week? Should I record my time? Okay, yeah, money. I need money. Well, this presents an opportunity. Or... Catching up? I haven't seen you since forever. You got huge! I wish someone would say that about me. She giggles and cleans her throat. <laughs> she giggles and clears her throat. Don't people make fun of you? At this age, I almost am. My supreme durability grants safe passage. You're not wrong. If you're cute enough, you can get away with nearly everything. Inelegantly, I pocket his last morsel, not long after we move on to finish the day's classes. Pocketing the food, nice. Well, definitely must be rough at home. Gotta need that money. As she turns... <laughs> As she turns to me, her butt bumps on the paper stacks, and against contents wafting to the floor. Oh, fuck me. Oh, no, it would be rude to intrude when he's not around. I look around the room. She recognizes the inconsistency. She recognizes the inconsistency. God damn it. She recognizes the inconsistency, too. Sure. She pushes. She pushes past me, and I'm left in the room alone. His fist slams into my face, my head knocking against the door with a crack. Holly screams and pulls at Kane's elbow. S stop it, stop it, we were just joking, please. The commotion has brought other students over and Coach Jean's show subs- Alright, you know what? Fuck you. You're not coming to my club anymore. Fuck you. My pocket vibrates so I swap the paper with my phone. Check your locker. Oh. Uh, hey. Holly, right? No response. I'm gonna look at my locker and see a second schedule? The exact same? I do have a little more time before class. I can humor her, I guess. I'm going to have to charge my phone more often at this rate. I approach my locker. Maybe I'll regain that middle school popularity I enjoyed after a while. Evan's right about it being a weird start of the year, but it'll, been... but it'll even out. My head numbs instantly. Yes, come on. <laughs> what the fuck?! Scrambling to my feet, I put my track and field training to full use. I sprint with all my might. I turn the corner. I turn the corner and see. Ollie? And Alice. Giggling. At me? <sighs> Fine, alright, alright. Bait me like that. An x-ray, stitches, doctor fee, administration fee. A total of nearly... 30... No, oh, 3,000! I thought I said 30,000. I need to get my eyes checked. My optical sensors and... Anyway, it says the office will call and mail me in a couple business days to set up a payment plan. I sign it. Now I need even more money! You're gonna owe me gas money at this rate. My teeth clench while I sit quietly. He looks me over. That was a joke. It could have been worse, you know? I mean, I already have like a $3,000 bill, so... What are you doing? I spin my heel and pop oh it in Nat's chest. Oh, classic. I don't like the explanation. 
Hydrogen bombs, what? Come on, you can't tell me that isn't suspicious. What the fuck? None the fuck. Alright, let's say, uh, it is something suspicious. What could it be? I got nothing. I return to clean up duty. She leads me to Mr. Underwood's office and knocks. I tried the knob, but it's locked. So much for that. She nudges me aside and bends me over. Bends me over. Bends me over. Not if you take pictures of the answers. Ugh. Not if you take pictures of the answers. Uh, for fuck's sakes. Not if you take pictures of the answers. Light rustling can be heard from my room. I reach towards the kitchen, one hand upon the wall to keep me steady. My eyes adjust to the dark. I slide a large kitchen knife from its holder. The sharp tip faces outwards I wield it with both hands. The rustling continues. I hold my breath and move closer. What was that click? The sound is more distinct right outside the door to my room. This better not be another fucking prank! I kick, I kick the door open and face the intruder. Ah! Why are you in the dark? I set the knife on my bedside and flick the light switch. Really? You should hold on to it anyway. So I do. Specific. Specificity. Specific. Oh my fucking. Specificity lends credibility and fluid complexity. Uh, okay, I don't really see anything. What were you fighting about? Grown up things. Did Miss Underwood get you pregnant or something? No offense, but I'm basically an adult, you know? How do I know you're not being hurt? She steps back, her face showing a complex burst of emotions. I guess I can't expect you to trust me if I don't trust you. I agree with her, but simply stutter. Her heart races, so she's sincere. Okay. I'll just say it. Her voice lowers. I'm in a relationship with Mr. Underwood. Did I just fucking call it? A wave of relief crashes over me. Oh, why is this bad? She blushes fiercely, maintaining a whisper. I'm married to another ma- Oh! Okay, this is a bit more... Spicy. You know... Like Al said earlier about giving specifics, that means more convincing. When someone gives an excuse, and it makes it sound embarrassing for them, you're more likely to believe what they're saying. I shouldn't be teaching you this. <laughs> oh, forget I said anything! Nothing to do but show up and hope four is enough. Unless Kane shows up. It's gonna be Kane, isn't it? God damn it. A rational voice in my head tells me just let it go at that. Evan would, but I'm not Evan. Racing around the corner, my hand catches on several locked doors. I keep trying doors, my hand shaking wildly. Finally, I find an open room and spill into it. Maybe you should have listened to that rational thought in your head and learned when to shut the fuck up. That's right. Smart boy. You can rest in my crotch. What? Oh, couch! Couch! Why'd I read that as crotch? I was gonna comment like crotch, I think you mean lap. God fucking damn it. You can rest on my- <laughs> You can rest on my crotch! <laughs> I gotta try that out sometime. Is he going to fucking die? Say something! She's unable to answer through her sobs. Cam locates his lock and pulls it open. <laughs> Oh! She shoves her fingers inside the gap and slams it closed with no hesitation. A blood curdling scream so loud it hurts my ears. He slams the metal locker door against her broken fingers again and again, warping the bones in her hand and splattering blood down the side of the locker. A pool of blood gushed from the stecker's head, a wound obscured by her hair. I can't register this. I want to ask if she's okay, but I just stare. He's not moving.
Well, Kane, looks like you gave more of the suspension. See you in prison.